how has it been for you at Stanford, one of the top universities, to balance uh, school and and uh, and athletics? You know, a lot of people a lot of people think it's hard. Um, it's not hard if you manage your time, and it's actually a lot of fun because. You're not the only one doing it, and so you meet new people. You also meet people in the classroom that are doing their own thing, and it's a it's a really good challenge. I like it a lot, and I, I couldn't I could not regret this decision coming to Stanford because um, you know they expect so much from you in so many different dimensions of life, and I think that's that's what really makes Stanford so special. What prepared you? Obviously, it's one of the top academic institutions, um, and, and that balance so much being an athlete. How? How prepared you My mom and my dad. <laughs> Absolutely. I could not have, I don't think I'd be the person that I am without them, you know. I, I try my best to manage my time and be responsible with what I need to do and take care of business. And without them, I don't think I would be here. And so uh, I owe it all to them. You're a senior leader there now on the court. What does that mean being a leader and what do you do in that role? Uh, uh, I try my best to, you know, extend myself to everybody. Um, you know, I want my teammates to be comfortable coming to me for things, and um, I try to understand them both on and off the court. You know, we go out to eat, I pick them up, whatever they need. It's kind of in my blood. I like doing that kind of stuff. It's how I'm made, made to be. So I try my best to help everybody and make sure everyone's fine in all aspects of life. So. Obviously, there's a good chance you're going to play in the WNBA, but if you had another career outside of basketball, what would you pursue? Oh, right now I'm thinking about getting a business degree and kind of working with that. Um, but I've always expressed in the past that I'd like to be a doctor, uh, an orthodontist maybe. So right now it's kind of, I don't know. Yeah, but what, I definitely want to go to graduate school. What advice would you give to a, a, a student athlete, high school student athlete, that trying to get in your shoes? Um, high school's not, not high, high school is not um, overrated. You know, you really need to, what you do there really determines where you go after that. And I think if you keep on, you know, taking your time, being responsible, and I think extracurricular activities are a really big key in high school. That's definitely a big thing to do. And whatever you're good at, whatever your interests are, do it. And then finally, it's your big night against Tennessee. Yes. Four years in a row, you went for 42 points. How is that feeling now at the end it of the day? It feels amazing. I'm just happy that I have a team that comes and they greet, they come to me with so many different greetings and so much support. It's just great to work with this team. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you.